she is fancy. She got sunglasses on in the hotel chair. Mm -hmm. We're here to get food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to, <laughs> that's Kiyosha in the background. <laughs> we are in Nashville. I think this is the first time that I am talking to you guys. I was trying to in the elevator, but copyright music, so I didn't. I think the last time I left you guys, we went for Boba. So after Boba, we went to Buffalo Exchange. If you aren't familiar with Buffalo Exchange, it's kind of like a fancier Plato's Closet. Got some things, I'm gonna do a reel, so I think by the time this comes out, the reel's already out, so I'll pop it up here. Um, so got quite a few things I'm actually really excited about. And then we went to Cafe Coco just to grab something really quick to eat because we didn't want to um, get too full. And we're headed to Fifth and Taylor later tonight. So while Kiyosha is over there, you can't see her. There she goes, <laughs> putting on makeup. Let me show you guys what I got from Buffalo Exchange. First up, we have these Pill Crow jeans. I didn't even know, but apparently they're from Anthropology. Like the tag, Anthropology is still on them. Retail for 130 bucks. I paid $20 for them. So love those. Um, next up, we have this shouldered pad dress. Um, it's got a little bit of a stain here i know the makeup i can get out but there's like a little bit of a pink stain i'm hoping that um either i can get it out but i'll probably just take it to a dry cleaner to see if they can get it out got this in a large it says endless rose i'm not really sure i'm pretty sure that's just a boutique and i paid 25 for this one next up we have a pair of universal thread so tarjay um pants they straight have that wrong. That's not factual. That's probably why these were on sale. It says, <laughs> these say a two slash 26. This is not a two, 26. Where is they Right there. They have clearly labeled these wrong. But inside the pants, it says a two. Two, 26 correctly. What's a two in what country is a two? I have no idea. So it's, but on here is that the correct size, which is a 14. Ciao. So I can see, what bag? Make a bag right here in this uh, chair. I got these cream pants from Target. They're clearly a size 14. So I'm pretty sure that's probably why they made it to the thrift store because they were mislabeled. It literally has two. I have never been a two a day in my life. Not a day. Anyway, so I paid 15 for these. They have a little bit of dust down here, but that's not anything that a laundry can get out. One of my favorite purchases is this pretty, what color would you say this is? Bronze, dark orange, breast, copper silk dress from Abercrombie and I paid 20 bucks for this. I think this was like my second favorite. My favorite is this crop denim jacket. Y'all, this denim jacket from Zara. It is a size medium, so it does fit snug and that's what I like and it's cropped, so it's goodness. Anyway, I paid 24 bucks for this picked up a little random green like olive green short sleeve button up I thought that was cute this was $11 this is supposed to be an oversized blouse but because it is a it's by ASO so because this is this is a US 18 so like a 2x I'm gonna wear it as like a dress and then kind of how like I have this oversized shirt I'll wear it like this one I have on like a tank and then some um, leggings and then last but not least I'm gonna show you guys this so let me pull you back the piece de resistance <laughs> is let me take my shirt off this H&M top coat that I got for $35 this is girl this says US extra small this is not factual have to this sizing is not factual look how far down this goes Boop. <laughs> gorgeous right so 
that's what I got. I spent right at, um, I want to say $200 for all this stuff, but it was definitely worth it. Um, I already have my makeup on and I'm not showering because when I shower, I go to bed. So I'm just going to chill out here. And like I said, we're going to Fifth and Taylor, which is a nice restaurant. Um, we have reservations at 715. We are taking an Uber because parking over there is very limited. Um, so we're going to take an Uber from here. It was 12 bucks the last time I checked. So I will check in with you guys when we are at the restaurant. Let's pretend we stay just friends. Would you find some other guy with the night ends? What you gonna do about it? Tell you what, tell you what, let's forget about it. You've got enough fancy friends and a way about you. Like your luck, like your luck, it's never ever gonna dry up. No, tell you what, tell you what, let's forget about it. You got it all figured out and a way about you. Like you can't get enough, can't get enough of wild nights, wild nights You work so hard, night and day All of it so you can be the queen on Friday It's Saturday, it's Sunday, Monday too And the way you move is like you own the room Everybody gonna turn their heads and look at you, yeah set this shit up anyway we are getting ready to head out it is saturday you can't tell but it's a little gloomy today um we're headed to do brunch and then we're gonna go do some shopping i'm also gonna be watching the games while we're shopping and then we're going to where are we going tonight hampton social you made this you just you the travel plan okay i mean <laughs> what was the name of the restaurant tonight we had to, yes, we're going to the Hampton Social tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm very basic. Aunt Flo came back for the first time. And oh, I just want to eat all the things. Anyway, why am I wearing a crop shirt? And this is my first day. Jesus. Anyway. Because you ain't bloated yet. <laughs> crop shirt from Zara. These are the pants I showed you guys yesterday from Anthropology. Yes, I'm wearing them. Okay. Tag still on them so nobody's worn them. And even if they had, guy got it. Um, and then this cardigan is from Misguided. Shoes are Belk. And then these, it's my coach bag I showed you guys earlier. So I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the full look. Okay, right there. User error. Okay, now full look. Yeah, this is the full look. And yeah, let's go to brunch. You got it all figured out in a way you thought you like you can't get enough, can't get enough of wild nights, wild nights. Tell you what, tell you what, let's forget about it. You've got enough fancy friends and a way you about you. Like your luck, like your luck, it's never ever gonna dry up.
break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just got Damage at the mall. <laughs> this is our second round back to the car. We came first and dropped this stuff off. What time did we do? I don't know, but it's seven o'clock now. I swear we got here like 12 31. When, when I came here, I had all 10 nails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, leave me, you want me to leave your Nordstrom bag out there? Your Ulta bag out there? What I'm gonna do with it? I know if you, oh, you said you're not putting it out. I'm touching up my makeup I have now, and that's it. But you have on no, no brushes. No brushes. I have the one that's in there already that I used today. It ain't gonna do more, more damage than it already did. <laughs> hey guys, so we are. Can I see you? This should be a It's my face! <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, dear. Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, guys. We are. Back. I actually can tell you exactly when we got the mall because my mother-in-law texted me a picture of my baby. Oh, Twelve forty-four. <laughs> it is what time? Seven thirty-five. We left the mall at seven. It was like seven oh eight. So 12.44, let's say 1 o'clock. We've been in the mall for six hours. That's my fear. <laughs> six hours. And I didn't have on no comfortable shoes. I had on the mules that I should have gave away. Y'all saw. I should have gave them away two years ago. You tried to get some new ones. I did. Mind you, but they didn't did. have them. They did have them online, so I think I'm just going to order them online. No, I thought we were going to the Nordstrom Rack when I went home. Did you find them there? Oh, I'll, I'll just leave them in my car then. I do have them in my Nordstrom car. Along with the um, pants. Yeah. Uh, where's my shopping bag? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. Don't play with me. Um, y'all. So here's the thing. So we were in Nordstrom down there looking at the shoes. I just checked out on the shoes. We had walked over because I wanted to look at the coach handbags, and we didn't find anything. So then we kept walking. As we're walking back towards where we were before to catch on the elevator escalator. Y'all see on TikTok where like you see people come in, bum rushing, grabbing bags, and then running out. We saw that shit. Two or three people? Three people. Three people. All I heard was like alarms. I was like, why are those alarms going off? Next thing, they're like, and then they take off running at the end. I'm like, Mink, you should stop dead. And I tried, we're just like, are we being pumped? Yes. This is really happening. Stole YSL bags. I thought it was fake on TikTok. I'm like, I know people are not going to these stores. This, I this, I'm just, I was fabricated. I'm just saying, like, I think I told Alicia, I said, did they really just steal these bags? Like, out and ran out, and the security guard man was calm as hell. That part, I knew it was real, but I didn't think it would happen in Nashville. Like, I, I don't. It was just, and unfortunately, it was us. That, that part, and three, we were three girls. Th that, and part. they were like teenagers too. Yeah, they were definitely teenagers. So clearly, someone, I don't know, I just. A YSL bag is not worth you being in jail. And they grabbed one girl had two. And remember the other girl, she had to, she couldn't get it off of the oh, thing and yeah. she yanked it and ran because she was about to get caught. So a <laughs> strap is broke. Yeah. Cause she because they had them on the straps. So she probably yanked one of the straps. She might have did. They straight they took about, I don't know, because they girl had a handful of bags. Yeah, one girl a one girl I saw she had two, but the other girl in front of her, she was like this. I don't know how you grabbed all and my thing, they were behind that little black yes. airport. I'm flabbergasted, y'all. They I took like ten thousand dollars in merchandise. Cause one bag, that's probably over. I think one YSL bag would run you like twenty five, twenty seven hundred dollars. And they took several. So they took about what, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in merchandise? 
And the security guard, he just strolling out there. And I saw him on the phone, so I don't know if he was like trying to get a license plate or something, but I remember one guy I follow on TikTok, he works at LP and he says, they explicitly told them not to leave the store. So if they get out of the store, not to follow and chase them. Cause you just really don't know what they could have, like who could have something in the car or you don't want to get shot. So they said if, they're, if they leave the store, then just let them go. I mean, and I've seen the TikToks. It's not just bags. They be stealing shoes. They be stealing I, just I stuff. Bags. And they always, like, right by the... They steal anything they can get and get right yes, at the door. Yes, I have seen it. Yeah, right by the exit. I've yeah. seen the, I, the last one I saw, it was a bunch of teenagers. It was three teenage girls again. The last one I saw, I think it was either Ross, TJ Maxx. They just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff and just ran out what the you, door. What you, what you getting in, TJ? It's crazy. I want to look these up videos up and just, what's it called? Snatch and grab, child? I have no idea. Oh. TikTok's been taking them down, though. Because they don't want to, like, promote yes. robbery. Okay, where are we going to eat? Oh, I, so you guys can't see it, and I had to cut it on mute because, you know, copyright things. But um, the tide is losing, and I can't take another loss. I, mentally, I can't take another loss. Not against LSU. Please, Lord. I don't want to lose to Brian Kelly. I really don't. She what said she was going to punch me a few minutes ago, you guys, because I told her, at least I know what a fumble is. <laughs> oh, child. My favorite. I still like the Cowboys, by the way. I don't watch them, but I still like them. Name one person. I don't know any. Okay. I know who that is. I, <laughs> I saw I, which, which Fantastic Four was able to, like, had long, able to elongate himself? Uh, I elongate my arm section. <laughs> Nick, same. I cannot. What's his wife's name? Oh, hell. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Too fast. It said too much, too fast. <laughs> All right, so we didn't feel like going out, which happens. Pretty often on some trips. We've been well, we've been out since. What time did we technically leave here? Ten forty something. Too damn long. Okay. okay. So we ordered from Slim and Huskies. We got cinnamon rolls, just regular. Oh, those look good. Okay. And then she got a basic pizza. Really, it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. I had to get a basic pizza. I got their sweet and hot pizza. It smells like straight up hot sauce in your That's, nose. Yours actually does look good. With the pepperonis and this is hers so hers actually does look good she just has vegan cheese on it instead of regular cheese it actually looks really good and then i got you can have a slice of my pizza i don't want that hot sauce pizza no ma'am i got the sweet and hot chicken pizza Oof. it smell hot jalapenos banana peppers I, hot chicken to kill me it smells so good anyway we're gonna enjoy that while I'm watching the rest of the game. And I think that's gonna be it, guys. I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. Is there a Sprite in there? Yes, we about to eat. We about to drink this uh, $4 Sprite. Is it $4? I don't know. Okay. It's at least $4. Okay, I can't have no Coke. That part. Should I, should I be good and get a Diet Coke? No. We <laughs> both said no. no. <laughs> All right, look, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Pray for me, y'all, because she's about to be mad after this game. We're not going to lose, so I'm not going to be mad. Please don't be mad. We're not going to lose. All right. That's how I'm supposed to talk to y'all. <laughs> she's like not a morning person. Because she says I have to talk. So we're packing up. For those that don't watch the game, we lost last night by one point because, you know, such is this season. So I proceeded to go online on Nordstrom.com and buy two pair of mules that they did not have in the Nordstrom store. I'll pop them up here. In my defense, one is a leopard pair, which I think I've mentioned this before. I need a new leopard pair. This pair I got from uh, Belk, guys, at least five four or five years ago and i only paid like 30 bucks at the time so i desperately needed a new leopard mule so i got a leopard one and then um like a plaid type one from steve madden so 
I got that. So we're packing up. We might or might not do brunch downstairs at the restaurant. Um, I want to go to a Nord the Nordstrom Rack because that guy said that there is a bunch of cute stuff there and it's on the way home. It's in Brentwood, so it's on the way home. So if we don't do brunch at the restaurant, then we can just grab something when we leave Nordstrom Rack and get on the road. I'm packing up. I'm trying to put stuff back in packing cubes. I'm not packing it the same way I packed it before because... I like to put my dirty clothes in one bag and then the stuff that I haven't worn in the other one so it doesn't get mixed. So I'm trying to put all of my dirty stuff in one. Or at least two bags. And then the rest of the stuff in a different one. So I'm packing up. I will check in with you guys our next. I got your video doing all of that. <laughs> Tell the people you headed home. Y'all, if this vlog comes out, I'm going to need y'all to thank Kiosha. Because, uh, it, it might not come out. I'm tired. I don't even know if I have enough footage. You do. And I, I made you get I enough footage. Travel vlogs and there's like seven minutes. I'm like, sis, you were away for 72 hours and we got a seven minute vlog. So we'll see. If I can't make at least 20 minutes out of this. 15 is good. 15 minutes we've been gone for. Go get some. Let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy.